The Produce screen features a queue of previously ran or ready to run laser jobs ready for laser processing. The Produce screen is identified with the laser machine icon at the top of the screen and can be navigated by selecting that icon or choosing the Push to Laser button with a single design. When the job is ready for processing in the Prepare screen, that job can be sent to the Produce screen by selecting the Q or the Push to Laser buttons, then by selecting the icon at the top of the page that looks like a laser machine. When the Produce screen is opened, it will show all jobs sent to the Q. These jobs will also show in the center of the Run on Ruby touchscreen. If you do not have a touchscreen, they will show on the left side of the screen on a computer. These jobs can be selected and moved to change the order. Whatever job is assigned will be the job laser processed. The small X in the corner of each job allows for that job to be deleted if needed. The center of the screen are the details of the job. The job name, selected material and thickness, and the process parameters. There is also a switch to remove completed job from queue. If left on, the jobs will automatically be deleted when finished. If turned off, the jobs will remain so they can be rerun as often as needed. And these jobs will remain in this queue even if the laser machine and computer are turned off. The play and stop buttons are there so that the laser can be started on the computer. These two buttons will only work on a non-run-on Ruby laser machine. The run-on Ruby machine, or lasers with a touchscreen control computer, can only be started on the laser's control panel, for safety reasons, as they can be run far from the computer that sends the jobs anywhere on a local network. The progress bar and time shown here are only an estimated processing time, and this time will only show if the Calculate Job Time button is selected in the Prepare screen prior to sending the job. The large clock will start once the job is started on the laser and show the exact processing time during the active laser process. An image of the selected job is shown on the upper right hand side of the screen, with an optional full frame view to confirm all job details before laser processing. Once satisfied with that view, the escape button can be selected to return to the previous view. Finally, the small trash can at the bottom left of the screen can be selected to delete every file in the queue. To keep from accidentally pressing this, it will prompt a warning confirming the deletion of the queue. Once verified, all process files will be removed if desired. I will now run through the process of sending the file to the queue, starting that file and processing it with the laser to show this screen in action. The laser machine is already on and the material has been loaded and focused on. I will start by placing the design file over the material with a material parameter already selected. Then select the Calculate Job Time button and then push the file to the laser. Or select the Q button and go into the Produce screen. The file shows up simultaneously on the laser machine's display and a computer screen. Select the file, then press Start on the laser. The laser machine will start the job, showing the estimated time at the bottom of the screen. And the progress bar will show the job's progress. The large clock will count in real time as the laser job processes the material. The time will always be about 4 seconds longer than the simulation as the clock accounts for the laser head movement to and from the home location. Once finished, because the button to remove the completed job from queue is turned on, the job will delete from the queue when finished, showing a blank screen if there's no other files in the queue. Select the small bell at the top of the screen to see a time log of past laser jobs if needed. Once complete, remove from the laser for the finished results.